Thank you. What What do you think? Um, you know, as you think about that role moving forward, what What kind of things do you want to see happen as captain? Uh, I know going into well finishing off this last game, we want to send the seniors off on the win first off. Then once we get back, uh, well actually going into this game, we, wanna, we need to be more uh, better on the uh, pass coverage. So knowing that Washington State's an air raid team, we need to cover the pass a lot better because they're, like I say, 80% of the time they're going to pass the ball. Uh, keep running to the ball, keep causing turnovers, and uh, both sides of the balls uh, play a full game, full full force. What was your reaction when you saw Holiday Bowl? Uh, I was excited. Uh, never been to California. Always wanted to go out west. Uh, I know between that or Music City, so I'm very excited to actually play uh, in California and against another Pac-12 team. What does it mean to the program to have such a high-profile bowl? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, have our fans travel to a nice warm area, get away from the cold, <laughs> knowing it just snowed. Uh, also, it gives a, it brings a lot to recruiting as well because they see that we're going to bigger and better bowls, better than uh, Detroit. I mean, Detroit still it was still a good bowl, but it's a higher level bowl. So we had a better season, having to be eight and four, so we were able to get to a higher level. Bowl. What's the preparation just been like so far here? Uh, right now, we're just getting back into the practice, uh, back into the group of things, making sure everybody get their fit, footing right and uh, fits right. And starting next time we come to practice, we're going to start working more towards Washington State uh, actually game. Play. How is this different, you know, having Tracy taking you this far, um, other than some of the other years, you know, Phil had been taking you guys this far, but now you're at a new level. Uh, it's been great to have Coach Clay as the head coach. Um, we give everything. Uh, coach Gill has basically started the foundation, and Coach Clay has it. Uh, he's continuing to have the same things going on, uh, having us go to higher and better levels. Because uh, last year we didn't finish off as well, so we got a the gold standard. That's what we live, uh, try to keep ourselves up to each year. John, how would you describe yourself as, as a leader? How do you feel like you'll be able to guide the guys next year? Uh, I feel I'd be very vocal. Um, Speaking for both sides of the ball, I mean, uh, I'm, I know I primarily play defense, but I help uh, help out on the offensive side to uh, tell guys that if we need to pick it up as a unit, then we need to pick it up. If O-line, I feel like they're slacking a little bit, I'm going to tell them they need to pick it up a little bit, that we need them. As a whole team, we need them all together. So I, I will actually like say something to everybody. Assuming you and Rodney were captains at Monday's Mill? Yes, yes, we were. So it's, uh, it's kind of like a similar situation. Uh, he knows, I tell him, yeah, offense, we need a little spark or something, and he'll know to get them going. Uh, he'll tell me defense, we slack, and I get on our defensive players. We know how to feel each other vibes, and uh, at the end of the day, we'll talk about what else we can improve to help the team better. Me, him, and uh, also Brandon Lincoln. We already been starting to talk about things that we could possibly do going into this bowl game and then going into next year. Have you guys been looking at film quite a bit, and what are you seeing from them? Uh, yeah, we have been looking at film. Uh, Air raid, air raid, air raid. That's all I can tell you. Uh, they don't own a tight end or fullback on their roster. So went through like most of. I mean, like I say, six games from this season, and I have not seen a tight end or fullback. And I also checked the roster, and they, they don't have one. So we know what to expect. <laughs> how much? How do you how do you compete against? Uh, uh, a lot of pass coverage. Uh, Try to get as many hits on the quarterback as we can. Uh, that's something we've been working on this year, getting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. And I don't think they have seen a defense uh, that's as vicious as ours, I would say. So uh, it'd be a challenge. It'd be a nice challenge for us. What's, what's the best comparison that you guys have faced this year to Oregon State or maybe TCU last year? Uh, yeah, that was a uh, Coach Sabel. He pointed out uh, TCU last year. He kind of compared them, uh, kind of the same up tempo, uh, air raid. Like to get it out to the edge, get it to their primary receivers, take long shots. Uh, say this year, not many teams really air the ball out. Uh, I say Oregon State, they kind of air it out once again, but they ran the ball a lot more, so we won't see the running back. What's with. the what's the toughest concept for a linebacker to, to have to be able to do with in the area? Um, get great breaks on the ball, uh, get in the pass windows, try to hold off uh, as long as you can, so to allow your people rushing to be able to get home, or if we're rushing. Over blitzing, try to get home, try to make a, a dent, and try to get to the quarterback. With a team like that, it seems like your secondary is like ready to handle that. And so you got it must leave a little pressure off of you as a linebacker. Uh, a little bit, but not at the same time. Uh, we're all a unit, and I know sometimes they need us to get hands on the receivers. So we'll do what we can to help them be more successful in that game. So uh, 
as a defensive unit, I talked to Demarius Travis and Jalen Myrick, and they, they already know they've been talking to the DBs, and it's going to have to be one of the best games of the season. You guys are, as a program, known for getting DBs drafted, mm -hmm. um, but there's been a few linebackers that have been drafted, too. How do you feel like you guys have built a reputation on linebackers, too? Uh, I feel great about the reputation being built now that we have two starting linebackers in the NFL, Damian Wilson and Devondre Campbell. I talked to them. I talked to Damian uh, the past week when he was here for, to play the Vikings, and I talked to Devondre all the time, asking for information, try to get better at my game. But it's uh, great to have them. And then Brian Body, I talked to him as well, and Eric Murray. It's great to have DBs and linebackers go every year. It just helps uh, build more players' motivation that they're gonna that we have a chance to actually reach the NFL.